I'm nervous. You're nervous. Are well, you nervous, Joe? Yes. It's, it's um made from rabbit. Ah, uh, no, no, it's not. <laughs> So I'm in Porto right now, Rick. I have a connecting flight to Lisbon. And I missed it. I feel like I'm the only one stressed out. But, you know, when I was like coming up to the reception at the gate, when I told them I missed my flight because I was from a connecting flight, they were like, oh, no problem, we'll get you on the next one. This is the first time I've ever been to Lisbon. And it's incredible. Portugal is kind of strange. It's very relaxed. And I think that's a good thing, right? And that's like the general attitude. If you look around, like, there's no one. No one's in a hurry. So this is Joao. He's Portuguese and he lives in Lisbon. He's a really good friend of mine and I wanted to visit him for this episode. Is it normal to grab beers while you're waiting for a train? Because no, we, I, I he just bought it there. No, so you can take them on the train. We need to drink before the train. Mm. Like but it's, it's okay to like... Like in the night everyone drinks outside. Yeah. And drinks in the train. It's fine. So, Portuguese custard, mm -hmm. custard tart, so pastel nata. And you know, it's just like a really sweet pastry. Is it, is it very popular? It is the most popular thing. That and the coffee. <laughs> so this is some, what is it called? Yeah, pastel nata. Pastel de nata. So it's a... Custard pie. Yeah, a custard pie. Which tastes like boku pie. Like, you could, with some training, you could eat that one bite. One bite. Okay, let's see if tomorrow at the end of the day you can eat that one. Just one bite, man. Okay. Tomorrow. Okay, uh, challenge. Yeah, that'd be a good. Okay, perfect. What are we lining up for? For maybe the second best. Yeah, the second best. Pastiche nata. Pastiche nata. Alright, it's a pretty... Substantial line, right? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but these are Virginia shops. We've had so much of these, but they they pair it with anything, so you can get it at any bar or restaurant. What are you putting it? Uh, some white sugar. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. You but, can put some cinnamon in there. Have you having cinnamon lately? Hell yeah. Should I do it? Yeah, I'll do it also. Okay, cheers, my friends. Cheers, man. To Portugal. To Lisbon. Salud, amigos. So, this is. Pate. Yes, sardine pate. It's a sardine. Sardine is the, the little fish. It's, yeah, so it's sardine pate. Yes. But there's like other type of pate. Yeah, there are other, other type of fish. Oh, that's so good. So what kind of food are we eating, basically? You know, daily Portuguese food. What do we eat every day? Yeah. Food. When you know you have one hour, yeah. you are doing some construction work and then you come and just eat these. Well, maybe not with the starters. Yeah. Life, but then you get it. Yeah. It's very flavorful. It's like, you know, like what you see is what you get. And it's also not that expensive. I really enjoy going out at night too. People are so passionate, people are so lively, you know, they just want to have fun and I really enjoyed it.
Drawy. Yo. Where are we going? We are going to Palacio da Pena. <laughs> My goodness. Which is just there. Yeah. It's just there. You can see it. You how know? how long do you think that walk is? Well, uh, maybe five minutes. <laughs> So what time is it now? 5 30. And the last ticket is at 6. at 6. So we have 30 minutes to get up there. I think we'll make it. Yeah, sure. What happened? Ah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, we're still a little bit far away. Um, what's the ticket for Joawi? <laughs> for another morning. <laughs> oh, we almost got it. We almost made it, man. The view's crazy. We're here. It wasn't the red one. <laughs> um, surprise. Yeah, the other one is just actually recent. You know, it's not that good. This is this is the real deal. This is the real castle. You know, this is a real castle. <laughs> this is the one you see in like Game of Thrones. It's not exactly. red. Exactly. Who the fuck goes to red castle? Exactly. Yeah. Alright, so we're on our way to Inasal at this point, but then we get there. It was closed. There, there was no one there. So um, we okay. called them, yeah. and we called them a bunch. What they say? They say uh, that they don't arrive yet. That they maybe <laughs> are arriving at some point soon. <laughs> Filipino people <laughs> drives me nuts. So this is what I'm saying. That it's so relaxed. What they say? They are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> what they say? <laughs> uh, how many are you? Yeah. Just two? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the key of my award? Uh, what uh, what oh, is it? That means, oh, in an half an hour? Okay. Yeah, it can be. We can do it. So they're there already? Yeah. Alright, on our way to Inasal. <laughs> So there's a lot of hills in Lisbon, apparently. Yeah. So this is very normal. What is this, like a hundred steps? Maybe more? Look how high that is. Jesus Christ. It's this right here. And barbecue place. It's usually very Pode ser? Com licença. Vai entrar. Como é que estamos? Tudo bem? Tudo bem. Tudo bem. So when the cruise ships come, yeah. uh, a lot of the employees are from the Philippines. Okay, and makes they sense. All came here to eat. Yeah. So that's why they are talking about the ship before. Yeah. The ship. And uh, tomorrow is coming a big ship, so it's all like tomorrow we'll have the variety. So downstairs they have karaoke, the restaurant, and they sell like uh, oh my God. religious stuff. That's what they are very religious. <laughs> So this is in Asal, Filipinas. Honestly, when I first came in here, I felt like I was transported to the Philippines right away. There were Mama Mary figures. There was karaoke. This chicharong bulaklak, it's perfect. So when I saw that they had it on the menu right before we were coming, I knew I had to get that. And that was their specialty too. What do you think? I think it's like popcorn and fries yeah. and chips at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> right, right? So it's like appetizer. Right, it's good. Mm. The food was incredible. So we got some papaita. Done. And they gave it this for free. Did you like it, Joel? Yes, I really like it. Really tasty. No. 
It's almost pretty similar to the flavor profile of Portuguese food, right? Yeah, I would say so. Is it, is it liver, isn't it? Mm-hmm. What do you think of that one? The vegetable. Mm -hmm. I got to piss off early. <laughs> You're nervous. Are oh, you nervous, Joe? Yes. It's, it's um made from rabbit. Uh, no, no, it's not. <laughs> Is it? No, it's not. It's pork. Uh, that's what my parents told me. When no, I was and we don't do rabbit. It's not a. It's not a dish. We don't have rabbits. <laughs> it's not too bad. What do you think? It's weird. It's very weird. Yeah. Chicken adobo, the national dish. Yes, exactly. Of the Philippines. Of the Philippines. Let's go. See. You like it? Yes, I really like it. Yeah. Caramelized onion. Caramelized onion, exactly. So awesome. good. Me and Joao felt like kids visiting our relatives in the province. Once again, shout out to Mang Mario and to Miss Juliana and to Joao. It's funny because the other guy's name is Joao too. Thank you so much again for the hospitality. We were there for so long, we enjoyed it so much. We felt like we were home, you know? So we're watching the, the Paris episode. <laughs> here in a, so I'm here in a Filipino restaurant watching the Finding Filipino Food Paris one. I'm here with Miss Juliana, the chef and owner, Juliana Cordova.